Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's take a look at how we add single digit and double digit numbers together. For example, 17 plus 8. The best way to do that again is to look at 17, the bigger of the two numbers, and see how much more we need to make 20 out of 17. And if we add 3 more to the 17, we get 20. We subtract the 3 from 8, that leaves us with 5. 20 plus 5 gives us 25. So the methodology is this, 17 plus 3 gives us 20, so 8 minus 3 gives us 5, 20 plus 5 gives us 25. And that's how we look at it without even having to write it down. You could simply look at this after a little bit of practice and you say, okay, 17 plus 3 is 20. If I take 3 away from 8, I get 5. 20 plus 5 is 25. Let's try the next number. 34 plus 7. How much more do I need from to, to add to 37 to get 40? Well, 6 more will give me 40. 4 plus 6 is 10, so 34 plus 6 is 40. If I take 6 away from 7, I'm left with 1. 40 plus 1 is 41. The way, the way we did that again is 34 plus 6 gives me 40. I subtract the 6 from 7, I get 1. 40 plus 1 is 41. 88 plus 5. Again, how much do I need to add to 88 to get 90? Two more will give me 90. Take two away from 5, that gives me 3. 90 plus 3 is 93. So what I did was I said 88 plus 2 more will give me 90. I subtract the 2 from 5, I get 3. 90 plus 3 is 93. Next problem, 65 plus 9. Well, if I add 5 more to 65, that gives me 70. 5 subtracted from 9 gives me 4. 70 plus 4 gives me 74. 65 plus 5. That's equal to 70. Subtract the 5 from 9, that gives me 4. 70 plus 4 is 74. And slowly but surely, if you keep practicing that, you start seeing that right away. You look at two numbers like that, and you go, okay, how much more do I need to make that 40? Subtract the other one, add that to 40, and I get 41. And that makes it a lot easier to add numbers like that together. One of the problems, of course, we've been experiencing is that we quite often not simply grab our calculator and we start punching the numbers without, without giving it a second thought. But without exercising the brain and making it do this on occasion, just our brain gets pretty weak. So it's really good to keep practicing these kind of problems and working them out exactly that way without going to a calculator. And that's how we do that.